you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Yesu kaine haskena Inda kabihan yandan zambi Yesu kaine haskena Inda kabihan yandan zambi One more time Yesu kaine haskena The light of the world Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign forever. I worship. I worship from everlasting to everlasting. I worship you. He is the living God. Come on, say. Sing, Lord, you reign.
Father's presence. The awesome presence fills this place. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Come on, worship him. I praise your name. I praise your name. I praise. I praise your Nothing will stand his presence. Believe me. Nothing will stand his presence. Sekala 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60. Just lift your Bible. Isaiah 61, sorry. Isaiah 61. Satan, I speak to you. Let this lady go right now. I command, I see movements around your stomach. I command that demonic influence over you to be broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, an opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto those who mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord and then it ends with a dangerous statement he said that he might be glorified that means in these things he will be glorified this is how he is glorified when the sick are healed when the captives are free when the garment of praise is given for the spirit of heaviness then he is glorified he said God is doing all of these things not just because your name is Joshua he's doing it that he 
might be glorified. That's why we are singing that song, I glorify your name. So when we sing it, he begins to heal, he begins to bless, so that he will be glorified. The Spirit of God is in this place tonight. And I see different kinds of sicknesses and challenges. But I need you to know that God is going to surprise you tonight. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Listen to me. Jesus was speaking to the disciples in John chapter 10 and verse 10. He said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Say after me, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief comes to steal. Satan has always been in the ministry of destroying men. You can look at a life and know whether or not Satan has passed through that life. When Satan passes through a life, he leaves that life with sickness, oppression, poverty, all kinds of trauma. And our society is full of men and women who are living in fear, in bondage, in poverty. He said, the thief cometh not. Every time you see him in an environment, he steals all the blessings that the Lord has apportioned for his people. He kills. He destroys. When Satan steps into a family, it doesn't matter how hard working they are. He wrecks that family, wrecks everyone in that family. But the Bible says in Obadiah 21, it says, and saviors shall arise from out of Zion. It says, and they shall judge the mount of Esau. The saviors shall arise. Men and women who are filled with the spirit of the living God. And let me tell you something. Any gospel that cannot bring people from out of bondage. Are you listening to me? From out of sickness. From out of poverty. From out of failure and defeat. And bring them to a point where they represent the exact counsel of God. That gospel is dead. It's just religion and is powerless. We are sick and tired of powerless gospels and motivations. He said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. But in the demonstration of power. That your faith might not be upon um, the wisdom of man, but upon the power of God. We live in a world where people are oppressed. Real oppression. There are many of us represented here right now. That our families are suffering so much. The economic hardship and economic depression is telling so much on people. Sickness everywhere. And the hospitals are doing their best. But they are coming to a point where they are acknowledging the fact that there is only so much they can do. There's got to be a voice that will arise. There's got to be a generation that will say there is a solution. Otherwise our praying in tongues makes no relevance to the people in the world. Until they see the manifestation of the power of God. That HIV is broken and it bows. That cancer and sickness dies. That deafness and lameness goes. That a deformed heart is not just healed but a creative one. A new one comes. We are not talking of healing. We are talking of a brand new one. Why will you need a healing of a heart when you can get a new one? Hallelujah. That oppression from demons will live and will go. Genotypes changed. When John the Baptist said, go and ask Jesus, is he the Messiah? Jesus said, go and tell him, the blind see, the deaf hear, the cripples are walking. That means this is the manifestation of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And before we begin tonight, I want to encourage you, everyone, listen, please. You have a responsibility to play. The responsibility is that you must believe God. The Bible says, He that cometh unto God 
must believe that he is hallelujah now it's not the time to sit down and wonder and say can god the bible says they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness now it's not the time to watch other people and just wish now is the time to confront and to conquer and to say this sickness you're leaving me once and for all i don't care the stories they gave you around it now it's not the time to bring out your medical report and keep admiring it tonight is the time where you get angry the bible says woe unto them who are at ease in zion there are many of us who are oppressed by satan in us our lives and our families this is a time where you challenge yourself and say lord in this miracle service i'm ready to chart a new course there's no moving forward and coming backward no can i tell you something about satan he hates me very much for this but let me tell you satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance and disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me satan is only as powerful to the degree that your ignorance in the word of god or your disobedience to applying the principles that bring the blessings permit him but jesus said i saw satan fall like lightning you see i didn't say i am seeing him falling i saw it is past he has fallen hallelujah and so you must believe god tonight many of us are carrying requests some of them absolutely impossible situations but can you take your eyes off those things and say lord i know i know that you are able many of us have gone to the hospital again and again and again and again and the doctors have said you would live with this i've shared my testimony again and again i had a fungal infection that affected me for a great portion of my life there was no hospital i didn't go to no kind of medication everything didn't work and god healed me by the power of his spirit so i know that miracles exist take away that religious spirit and those demonic teachings that many have indoctrinated people with that the era of miracles have passed because the faith life is a miraculous life you've got to take away that mentality and say lord i believe don't just wish and say lord if you want that's a demonic teaching for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom get angry with poverty get angry with your family members begging and crying from hand to mouth moving up and down when you get dissatisfied in your spirit then you are ready to receive a miracle get ready to act upon the word when you hear the word and you receive the word you receive it into your spirit and enforce it by faith hallelujah this is why you came tonight i prayed a prayer and i told god i said lord we don't just want a few people five six seven people receiving miracles and breakthroughs in their lives if that's all we get tonight we have failed for every time the waters is being stirred whoever jumps into it and can i tell you something the waters is no longer stirred once it's stirred as much as your faith will want it to be stirred i have my requests that are put before god and i'm coming here very seriously to take the things that god has apportioned for me are you listening to me and so i'm challenging everyone inside and outside you've got to connect open up your spirit now it's not the time to be distracted let me tell you something one encounter tonight can change your life forever are you listening to me meetings like this are very prophetic and are very sensitive one encounter from god can change your life forever 
one encounter with his anointing can set you free of any kind of terminal disease lose concentration away from satan forget about satan satan is not the issue tonight your faith connecting and let me challenge you do not allow satan deceive you and lie to you and say you are so bad and your life is so terrible you cannot receive a miracle everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again he didn't heal one person who was born again because the holy spirit had not come upon them but like blind Bartimaeus, if you can say thou son of david have mercy upon me tonight you will experience the power and the glory of god god is going to be doing some dramatic things in this place and i'm encouraging every one of you to open up your spirits so that you will not just waste your time and you'll not just be a ceremony that you came for miracle service it's not a name it's an experience are you listening to me where god upgrades your life and takes you to a point where your life is nothing short of beauty and glory hallelujah his presence is in this place strong and mighty to heal to deliver to transform to set free the thief cometh not jesus is not the author of sickness hear me you must convince yourself take away that devilish mindset that says god gave me the sickness to test me no if he gave you the sickness why are you here to be healed jesus cannot bring sickness upon you to test you the bible says god is love hallelujah so tonight you must take responsibility i am ss because my family members are ss no way make up your mind and take responsibility and say lord tonight i lay it once and for all not healed now and then you are back into sickness many of us have suffered delays in our lives when you look at your you know that there are certain levels in life that you would have accomplished now is the time to place a demand and say lord by the spirit you are taking me to that plane recovery restoration there are many of us that the lord has spoken certain blessings to our lives that we are supposed to see but we have not seen it now is the time to place a demand and challenge the powers of satan that there be a manifestation of those things that god has spoken there are many of our family members that have suffered so much suffered in their job places everything they lay their hands to do dies they start a business it dies everything it works for others but when it gets to your turn or that of your family members it dies from the beginning it was not so and tonight we are partnering with the holy spirit and believing that God will take us to that position listen challenge yourself that something about your life hear me challenge yourself that something about your life must change I'm trying to provoke you by the Spirit so that you will know and realize that you can take this it's it's within your reach you must get angry enough get full of faith enough hallelujah listen don't leave this place tonight do not leave this place tonight without a tangible miracle for your life are you listening to me refuse it refuse it place a demand and say no way i'm not stepping out of this place with that sickness 
I'm not stepping out with that poverty. An idea must come upon my spirit. I'm not stepping at this level in the spirit. I'm not living at this level of grace. Lift up your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Raise a cry. Even as we prepare the ground. Bless a demand. Bless a demand. Bless a demand. Hallelujah. Now listen. There's someone here you had a dream and you saw them hit piercing you. They put a spear as though to kill you. Who is that person? There's someone here. They trust a spear. Come quickly. But Satan cannot have a place over your life. The devil is a liar. There's no, there's, let me tell you something. Tonight is zero tolerance with Satan. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. When you get angry and get wild in your spirit, you will find out that Satan is not as strong. They trust you with despair. 
come out they trust you with a spare while you were sleeping it was so real you woke up with the pains Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lady. Um, your elder sister is. I'm seeing the number 34. I believe she's 34 years. They've been praying for her for her marriage. Who is that? 34 years. Your elder sister. 34 years they've been praying for her who is that person come exactly 34 years am i right that's her age they've been praying for her the lord says i should tell you that before the end of this year she's going to get married <laughs> write it and go and tell her don't even know her her age is exactly 34 years that before the end of this year I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that this word will find expression upon the heart of obedience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah James James hearing the name James James for I will uphold James who is James Make sure you don't feel emotional about these words if it's not you go back to your seat your james come it says for i will uphold james that's what the lord says for i will uphold james for you have suffered many things but in this season the lord is going to be bringing great restoration look at me look at me only be a man of faith you have you love god but there is so much doubt in your heart i need you to know that god is more than able god is more than able to help you he's more than able to bring every word that he has spoken to your heart there are many things he wants to show you but you must learn to be away from people and stay with the spirit of god are you listening to me you must learn to be away from people and lord i pray in the name of jesus that there be great grace upon my brother i break away that spirit and that limitation of fear i break away that limitation that will not allow you to do the things that god wants you to do i break it away from your life even right now in the name of jesus christ come i see a lot of oppression in your family lot of oppression in your family and that's what I see I'm going to pray for you right now and not only will God set you free he will set your family members free I see your mom and I hear the mom April she's supposed to go through a very very uncalled for a challenge that is uncalled for in the month of April but the Lord sets her free tonight you believe that in the name of Jesus I break the power of Satan over your life right now in Jesus name and even for your mother mm, the anointing of the spirit is strong upon you can you just hold my hands just touch make contact with my hands in the name of Jesus be set free now by the power of the Holy Spirit for you and for your mother in the name of Jesus I see a chain over your head living now let it go I command that chain go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah come the Lord says look at me that I should set you free from fear for there are many fears in your heart said the Spirit of God he has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind hold my hands in the name of Jesus can you hold it with both of your hands mm. hold it with both of your hands if you can the anointing of the spirit is flowing through you fear you are a demonic spirit I pray that you let this lady go 
in the name of Jesus I take authority over fear in the name of Jesus and Jimmy the Lord says I should prophesy to you that beginning from the month of March you are entering a fearful dimension of wealth and prosperity that's what the Lord says I should tell you a fearful operation of wealth and prosperity fearful operation ideas will begin to come by the spirit calls calls for many people by the grace of God God will show you things from the month of March you are stepping into an unusual level of financial prosperity hallelujah call that lady Abigail come I saw your eyes enlarging in the spirit I saw your eyes growing bigger I was wondering why and the Lord says increase vision you will step into an unusual level of vision just look at me if you can just look at me as best as you can the power of God is so strong upon you increased unusual level of visions beginning right now the portals of heaven will be open to you I want you as much as you can just look at me there's fire leaving my eyes and entering me. in the name of Jesus an increased level of supernatural visions in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ supernatural visions even by the power of the Holy Spirit you step into a great dimension of seeing seeing even by the Spirit seeing even by the Spirit come my brother look at me there is no other way there is no other way you can be blessed in this life outside of Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? There is no other way. And if you do not trust him, everything that you trust will fall and will crumble and you'll be left with nothing. The Lord calls you into a real relationship tonight. And God says you should lay aside everything that is not him and begin to press for him in sincerity and truth. Do you understand? This is what gives Satan a foothold over your life. Hold my hands, I pray for you right now that over those demonic dreams and manifestations of Satan, now be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This comes in. Great vessel indeed, for the Lord will use you. 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 I see strong grace coming upon you. The Lord will use you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at me. Free yourself from religion. That's what the Lord says. There are many revelations you have in your mind that is not producing results. You have criticized too many things. Now is the time to begin to embrace the things of the Spirit. That's what the Lord says. Lord, take him to that dimension. That new realm of grace, even by the power of God. I erase the grip of religion over your life. Open up yourself and begin to receive of the fullness of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus look at me for many people think you will not amount to anything but the Spirit of God says I set you apart and you will become a great one even as the stone that has been rejected I will make you a great one are you listening to me I see a crown being put upon your head right now as I'm holding you father that you fulfill your word right now come 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 look at me look at me look at me see leave fear fear will not bring much to your life it will only put you in misery and forget about the things that people are saying god is separating you to use you are you listening to me there's one of your friend i see he has a mark the lord is saying leave him leave him love is a command relationship is not leave him are you listening to me and get serious with god god bless you look at me do you have an elder sister where is she she's married no no no. I mean there's um, do you have anyone staying in Abuja Abuja I see one of your people who is staying in Abuja um, the Lord says hear what I say except the Lord builds a house the laborers labor in vain the laborers labor in vain and that you tell them to commit their all unto God there's no giving God part and holding part. Are you listening to me? God bless you. Rampia, please come. Run. For 
I see the Lord bringing real blessings to your family. Real blessings to your family. Um, the Lord is bringing a refreshing. Please put a little water in that cup and just give me. I want to do exactly what I'm seeing in the spirit. The Lord says, just a little. He says he's bringing refreshing to your family. And the Lord says, this is there's no ritual around it. Before you package water tomorrow and start making madness out of it. This is simple prophetic instruction. Go ahead and drink it. Finish it. Just do what I'm asking you to do. The Lord says he's bringing a refreshing. In exactly two minutes, that water you have taken will become fire in your spirit and in your bones. In exactly two minutes from now, just hold on there. It will become fire. God will give you ideas by the spirit for was it not water that elijah poured upon the sacrifice that the fire came and licked it up there is nothing that is done that cannot be proven from scripture hallelujah In exactly two minutes said the lord it will become strong fire i see a formation of it already and i'm telling you the truth it will set you apart it will bring favor even to your younger sister that's what i'm seeing your younger sister your younger sister having this is great fire thank you jesus christ mercy mercy a lady with the name mercy who are you mercy come you're also mercy Deborah, Deborah Maida, if she's here, the Lord says it's time for you to step up. Where is she? She's not around. Deborah Maida, it's time for you to enjoy the blessings. I'm seeing you holding a big bag and you are going to the farm to pick a lot of fruits. That's what God is showing me. A very big bag. Humanly speaking, it's not something you can carry. But you need to pick the fruits. They are falling from the tree. I believe God is signifying a season. That is time to enter into a lot of things. Yahweh. 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 The Lord just said I should stretch my hand towards you. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh of oil. The Lord says He's called the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness be poured upon you. Have I not said Yahweh. God is no man's debtor? The Lord says He will repay you. I see oil being poured upon your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Oil being poured upon your head. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. Look at me. Rise out of timidity. For great is your strength, said the Spirit of God. Rise out of timidity. Great is your strength. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. That's what I'm sensing right now. Please get set. I sense an anointing to change. Don't take it for granted. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. I'm about to speak and prophesy the word of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her, a demonic spirit of fear. You will not hide in her soul. Come out of her right now. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mercy. Listen. Find a community of believers. You can't be in and out. Find a real community of believers. And they will help your growth. The Lord, I don't know what it is, but the Lord says I should tell you, I will show you mercy. I will show you mercy. Hold my hands. 
I will show you mercy. Please hold it with both of your hands if you can. I will show you mercy. That's what the Spirit of God says. Receive the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord coming like fragrance. I see like perfume upon you. The Lord says it's my mercy. The fragrance of the Lord upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. You will be a mother to many. Look at me. Look at me. The Lord says, I should tell you, you will be a mother to many. You will do things you never imagined that you could do. You will do things you never imagined that you could do. Mercy. The Lord says, I should tell you, you will speak over kings. It will speak over kingdoms. It will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hand. That's what the Lord says. A scepter is given. You will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Madam, please. I saw something coming like a balloon and then coming towards you and then I saw a sword while I was ministering I saw something like a sword and it just pierced it and it it went down and in my mind I was wondering I was I didn't really didn't understand and I kept quiet and then the Lord says I should tell you that the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity the lord says i should tell you that he's going to wipe away your tears that's all i hear the lord says i should tell you that you have cried many cries but that in this season he's going to wipe away your tears does this make sense to you what i'm saying i want to pray for you lord in the name of jesus according to the power of your word by the power of the holy spirit that you wipe away her tears you have migraine or somebody around your family i see somebody i'm seeing um yes signs of my you upon your head you'll be healed right now 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 not later right now in the name of jesus I pray by the power of the Spirit of God, be set free, be set free, be set free in the name of Jesus Christ, healed from my grain. Now I command every genotype, SS, hear me, inside and outside, if you are SS, if you are SS, right now, I change your genotype Everyone with heart condition, if you have a problem with your heart, come out quickly, inside and outside, either a hole in your heart or something pertaining your heart. Please run out quickly. Let's hurry up so we can conserve time. A heart condition, a confirmed heart condition, please come out. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, you are holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, 
in the name of our God. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Blessed is He who comes in the name of our God. I'm going to pray that the Lord will give you a brand new heart. I'm not praying for healing. You're not going to be healed. A creative miracle. Just believe it whether you understand what I'm saying or not. Are you listening to me? As my hands come upon you, I'm going to be releasing the power of God. The power of God. Now, a brand new heart upon you. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart. A brand new heart. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus, a brand new heart, 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 a brand new he
you must give him full expression he must find full expression you love him so much but i hear cares 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 you're laden by many cares and the lord really wants you to give him or hold my hands if you will lord i pray ah the strong manifestation of the spirit you will never be the same from tonight fire on you now in the name of the lord jesus christ you will never be the same again in the name of the lord jesus you will never be the same again in the name of the lord jesus there's a strange oil of god's favor that is bringing upon your life from tonight is a strange manifestation of the favor of the lord a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord hallelujah a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord the lady sitting come very quickly before please as you're standing in this atmosphere I like you to know that God is meeting your needs are you listening to me God is meeting your needs this lady that lady with you come yes look at me hold my hands you may not even know how much you have been oppressed by satan but i command victory for you now in the name of jesus christ i command victory great victory great victory in the name of jesus christ the lord will make you a very influential person for his kingdom he will give you a word upon your mouth you may not look like it right now but the lord says he's going to do this he will give you access to kings and he will grant you grace one of the things that you will have in your life is courage and boldness courage as bold as a lion the lord is going to give you great boldness hold my hands if you will lord i pray that this great grace and courage will come upon her even by the power of the holy spirit that she will do unusual and supernatural things even for the kingdom in the name of the lord jesus christ unusual supernatural things for the kingdom in the name of the lord jesus christ Aaron, the lord is stepping you into a strange level of blessings a strange level of blessings you have served the kingdom and you have served many the lord says i will now cause men to serve you i will cause men to serve you hold my hands lord i pray that this grace and this oil this great anointing will come upon him that he will serve many in the name of the lord jesus Onu come the exact same word god is saying to aaron that's what he's saying to you that because you have served many he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you in the name of the lord jesus christ he will cause many to serve you please be alert as we minister if you have not written your prayer request please write them very quickly thank you jesus i like your heart just to be tuned to the lord as we minister there's such an unusual prophetic anointing in this place that god wants to reach out to people please the lady that i supposed to just minister to with the yellow shirt come and the next person by you come the other lady with the green shirt come the both of you thank you spirit of god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus god says you're going to carry my message of love to many people I see an experience that you had last year towards the last quarter of last year that brought hurt and condemnation to you is an experience that I cannot talk about but you know it right you know what I'm talking about God says he healed that wound today Jesus says he loves you and he brings healing to that wound and you carry his message of love to many people God bless you I hear God says, I'm stepping into your family, I'm bringing a message, and I'm bringing restoration. That's the word I hear God says. God says he's bringing a restoration and a healing to a relationship between your mom and one of your elder sisters. Look at me. Omar. Am I talking? 
God says is healing the challenge that your sister and your mom has been experiencing in their relationship. I mean, one on one, there have been some bridges that have been, they have experienced in their relationship. And God says, because there has not been oneness and unity, it has hindered your family. God says is healing that wound tonight, and your sister will be restored back to your mom. And God says it will be a new season of restoration, even financially for your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Abigail, please come. Is Sanet here? Please come. So that we can just save time. Please come. As I'm calling, as the Lord is showing me, as I'm calling you, just come. Just come. Just come. Abigail, the Lord gave me Abigail. Aren't you Abigail? Please come. The Lord shows me. I see a scene that had happened before that the Lord shows me. And in this scene, I saw your father standing somewhere in a particular land and I could see cassava growing in that land. I don't know what it looked to me like somewhere in the southwest part of this country. Is that where you came from? From where? Okay. And, and I saw that there was a dispute, a challenge about this land. And I saw that certain curse, certain enchantment were released, please keep playing, were released over your father and your family to bring hurt, to bring hurt and to cause misfortune for your family and even death. That's what I hear the Lord says. Where is your father right now? Nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. Nothing is working out. That cause from that land, God says he will heal it. God says he break that yoke of the enemy. But are you aware of a challenge, a dispute that has to do with the land? It was something that their father left for all of them. Yes, and he left it for them. But there was a cause that he spoke over his life, and that's what is responsible with you know with the misfortune that your family is experiencing that now that nothing is working for that i declare that there shall be no death i reverse that curse of the wicked one and i declare that the prosperity of god comes to your family god says he brings healing to your body and perfection 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 to your body in the name of jesus christ I see the Lord touching your body. I see a challenge that had been that had always caused constant health challenge for you. Something connected to your blood that affects your bone and bring weakness to you around your joint and your bone region. Am I talking? God says you're going to step into there and bring total healing. Receive it now. Receive the healing power of God. The anointing is already on you. Receive it. Be free. Your blood and your bone and all your joints is healed this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Just stand. The Lord is not giving me a word for you yet. Grace, the Lord says, I should tell you that he's going to intervene in your academics. I say God says he's going to raise someone in your department that will fight your cause. And God says you will celebrate and sing songs of joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Watch out. He's a man. And that man is not a believer. That's what I hear the Lord says. Sandra, God shows me that a ticket is coming not for you but for your elder sister she's going to travel out of the country god says that demonic barrier is lifted tonight do you understand and god says the challenge that has kept her that she has not gone before now is lifted tonight god says there's going to be a speedy victory that shall come and your family shall celebrate in the name of jesus christ Shadi, I love you so much. Please just be on your feet. God speaks to me to, for you and your husband. I see a certain challenge and demonic attack that the enemy intends to bring to you, particularly in this season of birth. I get what I'm saying. And the Lord is showing me that this challenge is something that your mom experienced around the season of your birth. You may need to go and ask your mom in case you don't know. Such a demonic attack that came to her during the time of your birth. And you even experienced it in the early years of your life. Am I talking to you? God says that attack shall not rest upon you. The plans of the enemy is to snuff 
and take away your child but God says he shall not hold and we shall laugh when your son comes in the name of Jesus and God says for me to tell you God says this is a season of financial breakthrough watch it within now and the next three months you see unusual favor and doors that God will begin to open people that have never given to you before watch out and see what the Lord will do and my dear brother Jakes God says there's nothing that is impossible God says he will answer the prayer of your mom God says shortly he will cause her to rejoice and I even hear the Lord says as I answer this prayer there shall be celebration and I shall cause the bell of wedding to ring in your family I'm not talking about you but I'm talking about your sister for you it is sure but I'm talking about your sister Father, thank you. Or Lorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. If I'm talking to you, please just come. Or Lorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. Are you here? Just come quickly, quickly. Okay, please come. I, 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 I looked at you. And, I, and the Lord shows me your father's text. And God shows me that there's a project, like a research work that he's embarking upon. And God says, this work is going to bring honor to him. God says, this work is going to cause him to stand before many great people. And God says, I'm doing a work and I'm bringing health to his body. Health to his body. You know the challenge that your father has been going through i've never met your father i've never been to your house but god says he's bringing perfection to his health and this project that i see him working on on his table will bring honor to him god will use this work to set him before many great men go and tell him health healing perfection comes to his body in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus the lord says trust me and i will lead you God says for you to trust him and he will lead you. God says don't trust in your understanding. He said you have trust in your understanding before now. But this is the time that I want you to begin to trust me. God says if you will trust me to come up that, out of that relationship, I'll bring rest and peace to you. And God says I forgive your sister. Tell her that guilt shall no longer hold her hand bound. Tell her that the snare is broken. And tell her that she shall celebrate her wedding soon. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. So take the news to her. Is, is Sanet here? Is anybody by the name Naomi? Naomi. Let me talk about the Naomi so that if you are the one you come out. This Naomi that the Lord shows me. I see your elder brother who has been running from pillar to post seeking for job. And God simply asked me to tell you that he's releasing that job. And as he released that job, he's going to bring blessing to the family. He's going to be of great help and blessing to the family. If I'm talking about you, just lift up your hands. Where is he now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you if you have any challenge, I see God healing people with challenge around their legs. I'm seeing bone condition. Or any part of your body you have challenge, maybe from an accident, bone condition. I see God healing that quickly. Please just come. So we'll pray for you. Bone condition. I see God healing that. I see God healing bone condition. Lord, I pray for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Is there anyone in your family who has been crying to the Lord for a child? Yes. Who is the person? My sister-in-law. Your elder sister? Sister-in-law. Because I see the Lord says there shall be Amen. the birth of a child. Amen. I see God says he's bringing a child. Amen. For that yoke is broken. Amen. That yoke is broken. Amen. I will declare that a child is born. Amen. We declare that within now, in the next one year, the Lord gives you a testimony. Amen. In the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 
the people with the bone condition i want you to just touch that part just touch that part where you're having a bone condition just touch there we may not have the time to take all your testimonies but just touch the bone condition please minister i just want us to lay hands on them just quickly lord in the name of jesus i declare your need healed heal heal command that bone condition be healed in the name of jesus christ i declare you heal heal let that bone be healed right now in the name of jesus let that bone condition be healed right now in the name of jesus let the bone condition be healed right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus if we have laid hands on you please just go back to your seat and check yourself because of time restraint we may not need to take all the testimonies for all of you but we declare you healed you came in with any bone condition touch the place come on healing healing right now in the name of jesus be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ you're healed check it let me take your testimony check it every time the bone condition is actually once in a while it's not every time i have problems with my nails sometimes but do you experience it now no i don't your healing is permanent in the name of jesus permanent in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis i see the lord heals somebody with arthritis where the gentleman who is going back to his seat with a bone condition come come perfect in the name of jesus you are totally healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ so do what you couldn't do before let's take your testimony do what you couldn't do before hallelujah do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before thank you yeah your healing is perfected in the name of jesus Amen. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis come i see the lord heal somebody with arthritis i see the symptoms somewhere around your hand and your leg where you where is that person come quickly arthritis come and be healed thank you father thank you father thank you father mommy you're the one with arthritis are you feeling the pain now yeah with the chest so if you are healed now you will know yes in the name of jesus i curse you spirit of arthritis i release healing 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 in the name of jesus i curse the symptoms go go in the name of jesus you are healed okay check yourself quickly do what you couldn't do before you are healed in the name of jesus I like you to watch something this guy's leg can you see that one leg is shorter than the other yeah. if we can have the camera here so the, that this will not be stage managed nobody will lie and say just come can you see it from the side i need you to see it can you see it everybody just look are you seeing it yeah you see that one is shorter yeah. now watch this in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you to grow. Watch it from your screen. Watch it grow. Wow. Watch it grow. In the name of the Lord Jesus, <laughs> you're feeling a pulling on your leg. Look at it. Growing perfect. Look at this. Oh! That pain needs to go. Your, the problem is usually from the spine. And so it causes the leg to be a few inches lower than the normal one. Now try what you couldn't do before if you can shake your legs. As hard. Do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain? No, I don't. I don't feel any Complete perfection. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you coming out? For what? 
arthritis on the knee lord we release healing arthritis your cause in the name of jesus be healed be healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ check it and do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before do it again do it again do you still feel the pain you are totally healed amen in the name of jesus christ go back you okay you're the one with the hand in the name of jesus christ i release healing into this hand now 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 i cause you arthritis go in the name of jesus be healed let this hand be healed amen. in jesus name amen do what you couldn't do before check it do what you couldn't do with it before Hallelujah. come 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 do it do it okay tell us could you do this before could you do this before oh no you are totally healed yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. go back i just need you to speak the word my dad has been going through this condition for the lord she stands for her dad let the dad receive the anointing right now we cause arthritis we release healing now in the name of jesus amen i stand for basio kun lord we release healing to basio kun wherever he is right now in the name of the lord jesus christ amen amen Sanet is not here. The Lord shows me something. Sanet is not here. Thank you, Jesus. You came out. Lord, we cause arthritis from our mom's body and even her grandmother will release healing right now. We cause arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, you're here. All right. While this is going on, please, ushers, begin to collect the prayer requests. Lord, we cause Bring out your prayer requests inside right and outside. Right now, in the please, name let's of do that Jesus quickly. Christ. This Gideon here. Gideon, you are either in Agric Engineering or Agric Science. But I'm hearing the name Gideon in Agric. If you are here, come. For what? Lord bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. In the name of Jesus, bless her. And Lord concerning marriage, answer the prayers of her heart right now. Answer the prayers of her heart in the name of Jesus. Okay, just quickly. Not to testify, it's a prayer for my name, prayer for my name. Okay. I cause this pain go in the name of Jesus. I release healing now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do quickly. I'm healed. Say it. I'm very healed. I'm healed. healed in Jesus' name. Get on, please. Kneel down. Let's pray for you quickly. God says there's a ministry that He's birthing inside of you. God says that you shall have an assignment of bringing deliverance unto the captives. God says deliverance shall come to them that are bound even through your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask, let there be a release. Let there be an activation of that ministry inside of him. And let that anointing begin to overflow. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Please, if you need papers, ushers have papers. Thank you, Jesus. And let you, God has a word for you. I see God doing some things around your mom that pertains to healing in her body. Do you understand? God is bringing healing to her body. I don't know where she is at the moment, but that's what I see. Perfection. Perfection to her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is now quiet here, please. If you are here, just come quickly. Or is your mom here? Is your mom here? Is mommy here? Please, so we can walk with time. Thank you, Jesus. so we can conserve our time hallelujah um ruben okay i saw god giving you um another dimension of word of knowledge 
I see that function in your life. God just showed me that. Hallelujah. Quickly pray for some sick cases now. God showed me. Quickly come out, please, as I mentioned you. I saw um, we praying for cancer patients, okay? If you have people that had cancer or have cancer, please just quickly come out. You understanding for them? I saw that. You can just line up here. Praise God. Then if you're having um, pains at your back, back ache here, please come. We'll quickly pray with you. Then, people with pains in their right ear. I think there's somebody here with pain right ear. Then I saw another person. Your neck is actually your neck. You actually, I think you had a problem carrying a load or something. That's where you got an injury, just your neck. The three major vertebrae here. Please just quickly come up. Please, sirs. Just help me. Please just help me. Hallelujah. Jumi Tosin. God will do some amazing things to you guys in your worship life. I saw I saw you guys with Ruben. Just the three of you. Okay? God will be doing new things for you in the place of worship. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly pray with these people. Just quickly come as they pray with you. Please just go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Come on Hallelujah. Are we to? Are we to? Come. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me. The Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. Stand here. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. And I see a major promotion is going to come to your father. And I see the Lord bringing honor into the life of your father. And the Lord said he's going to put your... Sorry, I'm seeing something. Don't mind me. He's going to do something very tremendous here, Father. He's going to give grant and honor. Put your hands. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, I pray the Lord God. Let it be released for her, Father, in the name of Jesus. My brother there, I see an unusual healing and anointing upon you. Come. I see the Lord reason an unusual healing and anointing. I actually saw you leaning down, praying. Praying on your, on your bed. Telling the Lord that come. I actually saw the Lord. I saw a vision as I was talking just now. I saw a little that I'm praying on your bed and asking the Lord that you wanted to use, want Him to use you greatly. And I see Him releasing an unusual healing anointing upon you. Father, I pray that let the anointing intensify in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing upon Him. Let your anointing, let your anointing, Lord God, be so real and tangible. I'm so interested about a lady, a young person that came trusting the Lord for, a, for fruit of the womb in my right, my left hand side. Trusting the Lord outside the end of the flow for. A fair, I saw if you are you are here. Come, I just saw a vision. Somebody on my left, and I see the Lord giving you two boys. Oh, we heard me. I see the Lord giving you two boys. I see an unusual anointing of God. I saw you making a prayer to God that if the Lord gives you children, you're going to give them back to the Lord. You made, you made that prayer? Yes, sir. The Lord said He's going to release an anointing upon them and He's going Amen. to use them greatly. Amen. Put your hands in my right hand. Father, thank you, Jesus. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, there is somebody that came in here. I saw a young guy in between the age of 13, in between the age of 13, 16, having a terrible demonic attack with a bone. I see a young guy, a young guy in between the age of, in between the age of 13, I see a demonic operation upon you. If you know your head, come out here. If you know your head, your brother, in between the age of 12, 15, 16. Come. 
I see, I see a, a, a chain. It was a chain I saw. Have you, you find it difficult to sleep? Yeah, sometimes you struggle to sleep and you find a lot of. Put your let me, Father, come against every demonic attack of over his life in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic attack. I speak freedom upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now that there is uh, a lady outside that has a, a problem with the stomach, problem with the lower abdominal mina, something it pains around here. If you know you are you are the one, just come and let me pray for you. Okay, it's very chronic pain at your lower abdominal mina here. If you know you are here, come out. Somebody with a very chronic pain outside in the overflow. Somebody in the overflow. In the overflow. Anyone there? Yeah. Come in. Come. Come in. I saw her. That's the very lady I saw. I saw a lady with a very chronic pain. Is it like a five or I don't know. Just come and hold my hand. I will just declare a word. Excuse me. Man of God, lay your hands. Lay your hands on them. Father, I command every familiar spirit to come out of the way. And also, I saw a young lady that came into the meeting with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours. Amen. I saw a young lady sitting in the overflow with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours that came in. They just came in together. The Lord is asking me to warn you to stop engaging, I mean, involving yourself in what you've been. I see a young guy, a young guy, a young lady sitting in the overflow. The Lord is instructing me to really warn you, to warn you to stop what you've been involved. And that is giving you a chance to change and to repent from doing what you've been doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I see God. Please, let's just quickly there was a song that was playing that was oh you you sang it before yahweh please just sing that song when this meeting started i saw god give me a burden for people in the overflow people in the overflow please listen i see god there are some ladies here you were incantations or initiations were done for you by other ladies people in the overflow listen that's the song just be playing I see a lady, you are very small in stature, you are wearing a wine dress. You were initiated, all the ladies that have been initiated in this place by another lady into the occultic, just come out. The power of God is going to bring you out or you come out. God wants to set you free. For some of you, it's your secondary school days, please come. If anybody ever initiated you into anything, please come. In the overflow, Father, reponde balada boko soto balada banda. I command that power of darkness to be broken in the name of Jesus. Raponde belede boko soto balada bakasi talale eshete bara. In the name of Jesus. If you were ever taken to an occultist or something, please come out. Repande belede boko sata. Repende belede boko sata baya. Father, honor your word in this place. Repande Ipale kate shate pale. Repotom bolede boko sa. Repate balede dosha. For some of you, because of what happened at night, you have sexual intercourse, usually with strange ladies. I'm seeing such people, such people. In topele de boko sa. In palada boko sa tabaya. Hallelujah. For some of you, it was your parents that took you there. Don't be ashamed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is setting you free. Please come out. Come out. 
come out. Then I heard the name, I was hearing the name Graham Douglas. There is a lady in this place, your father is extremely wealthy. Extremely wealthy. He travels a lot. He travels a lot. I don't know if you are from the South South. I think there is Anne in your name or something. And I see God wanting to touch your father through you. I think your father is either military or something. He's either top military, but he travels a lot. If you are that person, please come out. Please come out. I see another lady. You have phobia for cockroaches. If you are in the same room with a cockroach, you must fall ill once you see it. I don't mean the usual fear. You break out in sweats. If you are that person, please come out. God wants to heal you right here and right now. Right here and right now. You fall sick, very ill. Please come out. I see a PC. Something is wrong with your mother. You can sing. Something is wrong with your mother. She's dead reading. Please come out. Right here. ushers very very quickly now we're entering a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment in this meeting let's have the prayer request very quickly a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment written your request don't waste this opportunity god has given us an instruction inside and outside please send your requests hallelujah can can you turn it here is it possible please turn the requests we're going to be praying on this request whatever it is that you laid as a request i'd like you to know that the end of it hear me the end of it comes whatever it is please everybody rise up on your feet inside and outside i'd like to invite all the servants of god please the ministers of the gospel can we come as we pray on this request hallelujah now listen as we pray on this request miracles listen to me please instant miracles instant miracles will begin to flow both to you and to your loved ones are you listening to me as we please come up let's let's come quickly as we lay our hands in faith instant miracles please call that lady that lady is not done god is not done with her yet there are all kinds of demonic manifestations she's been initiated into all kinds of things you want to pray for her as we pray everyone join us and pray by faith all over this building inside and outside Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release miracles, instant healings, instant deliverances, instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. 
Listen, now is the time for your life to change. Don't take it for granted. You stayed here long. Now is the time for you to receive by faith. To receive by faith. I command wisdom and understanding. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A baptism of wisdom and understanding shall release it. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take it in the name of Jesus. A baptism of wisdom and understanding. Let that fire come upon you. Let that fire come upon you. A baptism of wisdom. Leadership anointing. Leadership anointing. Receive it. The anointing for leadership. Take it. Amen. Inside and outside. Take it. Amen. Take it. Take it. Take it. She cut a lava core bosata. Shut up. Bosasa cut a lebricetosa. Favor with God. Shut up. Favor with man. Amen. Favor with God. Amen. Receive it. Amen. The anointing. For supernatural, inexplainable favor. Amen. Lift up your hands, everybody. Receive it. Amen. Take it. Take it. Amen. Take it. Amen. Inside and outside. Take it. Amen. Favor anointing. Take it. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. The favor anointing. Favor anointing. Hey, Shakata. 
all those in debt in debt financial debt both for you and for your family if there's any family here that is in financial debt Everyone here who has suffered delay, any kind of delay, don't care what it is in relationship, in marriage, in your academic, in ministry, in business. If God be God, if God be God, I command speed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speed in the name of Jesus. Whatever has held you back, there are many of you. You are moving, but you are not making progress for yourself, for your family. Tonight, enough is enough. I prophesy that spirit that came upon Elijah that made him to run. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Speed in ministry, speed in business, speed in your finances. I want to prophesy to your academics. I want to prophesy. I don't care. to know what your CGPA is. I don't want to know how many carryovers you have. That's none of my business. I don't want to know who likes you or who does not like you. This night, right now, I command, begin to soar. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Prophesy distinction, receive it, receive it. Hallelujah. Some of you read, if you are not lazy, you do your best. You have tried to explain to people, they can't understand. Every time you want to read, you find out that there's something holding you back. Tonight, as surely as my father lives, every mental blockage, everything called dull, let it die tonight in the name of Jesus. Receive a super intelligent mind. I prophesy a super intelligent mind. Conquer all your difficult causes. Conquer it. Conquer it. Go back as a victor. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your finances. The error of begging and living from hand to mouth. Begging. Begging for everything. Many of you have left the Lord because of financial challenges. In the name of that is above every name don't tell me about your father's job it has nothing to do with your job don't tell me you are not working the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper take it take it take it take it the power to prosper take it inside and outside take it the power to prosper prosperity in business prosperity in ministry receive it in the name of jesus there are many of us hear me 
who have suffered with habits habits all kinds of ungodly habits you have done the best you have cried you have fasted you have prayed lift up your hands right now every habit that does not represent the life of the kingdom i command it out of you now out of you now out of you now out of you now out of you right now hallelujah every spirit of fear timidity and discouragement this is what has stopped many people although you are praying in tongues fear timidity discouragement tonight right now i take authority over it let it live your life forever in the name of jesus i command multiply in the name of jesus be fruitful in the name of jesus subdue in the name of jesus every one of you here tonight is stepping into a new level of the anointing of the spirit receive it a new level of the anointing the operation the miracle working power receive it from tonight your words become powerful everyone you bless is blessed in the name of jesus i speak over you every spirit of death every spirit of failure whether by accident whether by the sword right now let it be lifted from your life forever in the name of jesus no more death no more death hallelujah i command every dying dream every dying vision every dying idea books to write songs to write organizations god has been speaking i command every dry bone share the word of the lord arise 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 let your dreams come alive let your visions come alive hallelujah hallelujah everyone in your family who is looking for a job or marriage or a building project that's what god is saying these three things job marriage a building project right now by the power of the spirit i command that you receive it for your loved ones supernatural marriages receive it receive it receive it receive it jobs for your loved ones receive it jobs without interview jobs without interview receive it hallelujah that has made you cry i don't care what it is everything that you came here with that has brought tears from your eyes as surely as the lord lives you walk out of this ground a free man a free woman no more tears i prophesy no more tears by the word of god i create for you a future with laughter 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 fresh passion for the word of god 
fresh passion for the word of God. Receive it. Fresh passion for the word of God. Let the spirit of prayer fall. Grace to pray like a general. Grace to pray. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of intercession. Lastly, I prophesy. The Lord tells me, release the anointing for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are not necessarily miracles. And Lord, according to your word, signs, wonders, at the count of three, this one will fall heavy. This one will fall heavy. One, two, three. Receive it. Signs. Wonders. Signs. Wonders. Become a sign. Become a wonder. Become a sign. Become a wonder. Become a sign. Accomplish more than your capacity. Accomplish more than your capacity. Hallelujah. All of you who are lecturers, if there's any lecturer in this place, because you came tonight, I command. That's what the Lord is telling me to declare. That the believer lecturers that came tonight, I command a grace that will distinguish you for honor. You can receive it for your parents. Receive it in the name of Jesus. No more weakness. No more frustration. No more begging. You are the head and not the tail. You are above. You are not beneath. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Arise. Shine. Hallelujah. So that when you leave this place tonight, you will know that you did not waste your time. Many of you will go back and step into a fearful order of operation in this life. See, the Bible says there are some beings that are celestial. There are others that are terrestrial. Every man is not the same. There is a plane that others walk in. They walk like spirits. They talk like spirits. They are not bounded to the limitations of this realm. Many of you will go back and suddenly receive calls that things are shaking, changing, changing in your family. Uncles that have forgotten you will call you and send millions to your account. I'm not motivating you. I am prophesying to you. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now listen to me. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the evil one. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is for you to come back to the kingdom. There are many of us who have not made a personal commitment to love God and to begin to live by his principles. You're not born again. Every time you hear the things of God, 
there are many of us that frown at it now this is very important everybody listen the spirit of god is in this place you've never made a decision for jesus christ or you have made a decision just carelessly and you've left the things of god there is love in this place and there is a big welcome i'm not asking you to think about it i'm not asking you to pray inside and outside right now leave your seat and run and come and give your heart to the lord do that quickly you want to make a decision you're saying enough is enough please leave your seat inside and outside the lord is calling you right now leave your seat and come the holy spirit is speaking to you you need to make your ways right i don't care if you're a pastor you're a bishop appreciate them as they come inside and outside the holy ghost is calling you it's a new beginning keep clapping motivate them appreciate them inside and outside the bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart now it's a new beginning those of you outside the lord is calling you do not reject his call you have seen his power you have seen his grace appreciate them we will wait for you appreciate them satan you will not hold anyone bound appreciate them they are still coming the lord is still speaking those outside don't let your friend hold you back it's a new season keep clapping as they come keep clapping as they come don't be tired hallelujah if you are still inside or outside while i'm speaking you can still come hallelujah now look at me for those of you standing i'd like you to know that we love you you're making the greatest decision that you have ever made in this life are you listening to me the greatest decision to make jesus lord of your life not just to become a christian but to become a citizen of the kingdom this is the secret of victory this is a secret to a life of glory no matter what you have done men may condemn you but let me tell you there is love for you here i don't care what you have done nobody condemns you are you listening to me now all of you standing in front lift your hands as you pray this prayer after me say after me dear lord jesus it's not a special number say it out of revelation dear lord jesus i love you and i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for my sins and this night i make a decision to love you to live for you and to serve you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare according to the word of god that i am born again holy spirit come and find a home in me teach me the laws of the kingdom and make me relevant in the kingdom from today i denounce sin and satan i declare that i'm genuinely born again hallelujah let me pray for you father thank you for these ones they have expressed their desire and their love for you and for your kingdom for as many who will come lord you will in no wise cast away i pray that that preserving grace will rest upon them that grace that preserves men and keep them everything that you have that has held you bound you are walking out of it as you go back in the name of jesus i declare that you are free your sins are forgiven you in the name of jesus christ we really appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you